lots of people use Windows and think they know every single app and tools it has. And some even get bored of the same old features. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 excellent tools that Windows already includes, which you may not know about or just be ignoring. And if you do know them, well, you'll realize they can give you everything you need. So first up, we have sticky notes. Sometimes you need something right on your screen to use later, or maybe you want to practice something repeatedly, or just jot down a to-do list. If you don't have an internet connection, or you don't want to save it online for work reasons, sticky notes is the perfect solution. With sticky notes, you can keep reminders, ideas, and to-do lists right on your desktop. You can color code each note, resize them, format them with bold, italic, and strike true, and even make lists using the toolbar. You can also add images to your notes. And if you sign in with your Microsoft account, they'll sync across devices through OneNote. And here's a bonus tip. With PowerToys installed on your PC, you can keep sticky notes always on top. So they're right there when you need them. If you don't know what is PowerToys, you're missing out a lot of Windows features. I made a video about what PowerToys does and how to use it. Feel free to check it out. At number two, we have focus sessions. If you struggle with distractions, Windows has your back with focus sessions inside the clock app. It's not limited to the clock app. You can also open it via settings, system, focus, or directly from notification panel, which I think is the handiest way. With focus sessions, you can set a timer and choose whether to show the timer in the clock app, hide badges on taskbar apps like when OBS Studio is showing me the red badge, hide flashing taskbar icons when apps open in the background, like messenger applications, and also turn do not disturb on or off. This way notifications are muted and you can track your progress without interruptions. You can also connect and use Spotify, which I showed you that how you can make your Spotify from this to this. So if you want to see how to do that, check out the link in the top right corner. Focus Sessions is like a mini productivity coach built right into Windows. Next we have Storage Sense. If you're running out of storage or maybe you don't have much space left on your SSD or you don't need files to stay on your PC forever slowing it down, you don't need to waste time deleting files manually. Storage Sense can automatically clear temporary files, old updates and even empty your recycle bin on a schedule. You can find it under settings, system and clicking on storage. It can automatically free up space, delete temporary files, and manage locally available cloud content. You can set it to run automatically or on a schedule. For example, daily, monthly, or even when a storage is low. You can even set intervals to empty your recycle bin or downloads folder. I personally set the downloads to never since I keep important files there. And of course, you can run Storage Sense manually anytime with a single click. Next, we have Task Scheduler. It lets you automate almost anything. Opening apps at specific times, shutting down your PC every night, or even running a cleanup script every few months. It might look a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's amazing. I'm not going to cover everything since in tons of options, but here's one simple and useful example. Scheduling an automatic shutdown. So let's see how you can schedule a shutdown task. First, click on action menu, then choose create basic task. Here, give it a name like shutdown PC and then click on next. So when you've got here, you should set the trigger, like when you want the shutdown to happen. Maybe it's daily, one time, idle or etc. Now you should set the action. Choose start a program and here in the program box type shutdown and add these arguments slash s which will be shutdown slash f which be force close apps slash t space 
and the shutdown immediately or any time you want. You can put whatever number you want in seconds here. Slash T and then a number. If you want it to shut down immediately, put zero or use another number for a delay in seconds. Now review your program and click finish. Now the program is ready to use. To cancel a scheduled shutdown at any time, open command prompt and type shutdown slash A. It looks intimidating at first, but once you try it, you'll see it's one of the most powerful tools Windows give you for free. Next we have nearby sharing. If you need to quickly send files to another Windows PC or your mobile phone, you should use nearby sharing. To do this, right click on a file, select share and nearby devices will appear instantly. There is no cables, emails and USB drives needed. If you need to quickly send files to another Windows PC, you should use nearby sharing. You can even share directly with your phone if it supports it. Just click, select the device and as you can see, the file is transferred and saved on my phone super fast. It's perfect for documents, images or links. For large files though, I recommend using other tools I have covered on this channel. Once you try nearby sharing, you'll never want to go back. Next we have phone link, which you already might know about it. If you've got a Windows PC and Android or iPhone, this app basically connects the two like magic. You can check your phone notifications, reply to SMS or WhatsApp messages, look at your recent photos and even make and receive calls all without touching your phone. Once connected, you'll see a control panel that shows your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, SIM card signal and battery percentage. This confirms your phone is connected and from here you can also turn on play sound which rings your phone so you can find it instantly if it's lost somewhere. You can even toggle do not disturb, adjust the volume or control your phone's audio player right from your PC. And here's the cool part. If you're playing music on your phone, you can control playback directly from your PC. Plus, you've got access to all your notifications which you can read and manage easily. Next to this panel, you'll find messages, calls and photos. That means you can send and receive text, make calls through your PC which should be connected via Bluetooth and browse your phone's gallery. You can open photos, copy them and save them or share them instantly. I'm not gonna cover every single feature of phone link right now, otherwise this video would go on forever. But honestly, it's a powerful app that most people ignore. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll help you out. Next to that, we have clipboard history. This one you may already know like the phone link app, but it definitely deserves a mention. We copy and paste all the time, but by default, Windows only remembers the last thing. With clipboard history, you can press Windows plus V and see a full list of everything you've copied, text, links, and even images. Here's the cool part, you can pin important items so they never get lost. You also have access to your most recently used items, emojis, GIFs, Kaomoji and symbols. Just search for what you need. And of course, you've got the main clipboard where everything just shows up. For syncing with your phone, you only need to install the link to Windows app which I mentioned earlier. Once it's set up, everything works seamlessly and honestly, once you start using it, you won't go back. At number 8, we have Quick Assist. Just get the code from the device that you want to connect to. Once you're connected, you can see what's happening on the user screen. You can request control of their PC, use their laser pointer and select the color, use annotation features like the pencil and eraser, chat with the user, select the screen you want to view and some other options you can try out yourself. Note that this application is pre-installed on Windows, which is good, but it's not available for other operating systems, which is unfortunate. Next we have virtual desktops. 
when your screen looks like chaos with apps and windows every time, try virtual desktops. You can create multiple desktops for different purposes. One for work, one for gaming, and one for personal browsing. Each desktop can even have its own background. Just press Windows plus tab and switch between them easily. You can also use it by Windows plus D. This is especially helpful if you're recording a tutorial and don't want viewers to see all your open apps. You can keep things clean by switching to a dedicated virtual desktop. And lastly, we have snipping tools. You might not realize this, but snipping tool is more than just pressing Windows plus Shift plus S. If you open the snipping tool app, you'll see that Windows 11 now includes screen recording as well as screenshots. You can capture a rectangle, a window, your full screen, or even a freeform shape. For recording, you can choose an area or full screen, enable or disable the microphone, and also mute or include the system audio. For creators, students, or just troubleshooting, it's one of the handiest upgrades Microsoft has given us. At number 11, we have File Explorer checkboxes. If you ever find yourself selecting lots of files in File Explorer and get tired of holding down Ctrl or Shift all the time, Windows has a super handy option, which is item checkboxes. Just open a File Explorer window, click View, Show, and then Item Checkboxes. And suddenly every file and folder has a checkbox next to it. This makes bulk selecting item way easier, especially if you don't want to rely on keyboard shortcuts. Sure, shortcuts like Ctrl plus A to select everything are still faster, but this gives you a simple alternative when you only need to pick a handful of files. At number 12, we have Dynamic Lock. It is a clever little feature that uses your phone to keep your PC secure. When your Bluetooth connected phone moves out of range, Windows will automatically lock your computer. If you forget to hit Windows plus L or step away in a hurry, your PC still stays safe from unwanted access. To set it up, go to Settings, Accounts, Sign in Options. Here, scroll down to see Dynamic Lock and check Allow Windows to automatically lock your device when you're away. You'll need to pair your phone through Bluetooth first if you haven't already. Now I'll be honest, I personally don't use this one, unwanted access, but I think it's a really interesting feature and might be super useful for some of you guys. And lastly we have live captions. I know that most platforms like YouTube or Google Meet already provide captions, but not everything does. That's where Windows live captions come in. You can turn them on in settings, accessibility, captions. And once enabled, just press Windows plus Ctrl plus L to toggle them whenever you want. This feature works system-wide, meaning it can generate captions for any video or audio that doesn't already have them. Super helpful if you need consistent subtitles or are watching a content without built-in captions. This video was all about pre-installed Windows apps and tools that can boost your productivity. But if you want to take customization even further, I highly recommend checking out my video on another powerful app which lets you do things like control sound with scroll on the taskbar, close apps with a middle click, and customize windows in ways you never imagined. And also power toys which if you don't know, you're missing a lot of windows 11 experience. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, which of these tools do you already use and which one will you try after this video? And of course, if I missed anything, drop it below.